we just read this uh, book, uh, which is called Fifty Ways to Kill a Slug. It's a really funny book. Um, serious and silly ways to kill or outwit the garden's number one enemy. Um, it's really funny. So, you have a quick read through. It's a really cleverly written book. It's quite small. See, so compared to my hand, this is pen. Um, so it says about the enemy profile, which is the slug, the size, and amazingly, the speed is 0 0.007 miles per hour. So, um, and also the lifespan is to six years, and all about the habitats, its weapons has 27,000 teeth so what it likes doesn't like enemies and prey we're now on page 12 which is uh, titled prepare the battleground and the battleground is your garden so it says it's listing a few things to make um, minimize the chances of slugs um, thriving and uh, reproducting in your garden so and the weapons you need, uh, some really funny ones, uh, a poker and sharp stick, a uh, vinegar spade, and also there's a catapult. I'm going to um, now show you uh, some funny ways of actually killing them. So here's quite a funny way of uh, sort of getting rid of them, which is called Pass Assault. It's on page 68. So it's... Uh, at the top it says about how salt is a highly effective way to kill slugs and other things like that um, so they list it well the author lists it um, in a few simple steps so under the cover of night arm yourself with a torch or flashlight and a handy pack of table salt uh, step 2 sprinkle the offending slugs um, with just a few grains of salt, watch joyfully as it kills in itself into a little ball and it will be dead within seconds. Um, there's also things about uh, small things that like to eat slugs. Um, actual slug eating plant that Dutch scientists have produced their slug eating carnivorous triffid. This predator could be the next big thing in the battle between man and slug. So you can see it's quite amusing and also there's some uh, silly ones so hold a slug race and then impress them with your treats. Um, send them into uh, your orbit so look through this although only a temporary method of losing the slug this is a good way to practice your throwing skills and what that c and one that can provide hours of amusement if you invite a few friends around and have a competition to see whose slug goes the furthest so you can see funny so it's a slug smoothie slug shuffle um and then at the end there's um it's a catapult thing so it's about catapulting your slugs off the end of a cliff so that's really funny and then finishes if all else fails venture out into the garden armed with this book locate a slug remove it from among your plants place a book unopened on top of the slug and squelch down with your foot then flick off the dead remains finally wipe down your book but I've only skipped through parts of it there's also ones like making them drunk so they die and uh, yeah it's just really funny so I'll just look at this last get them dead drunk for those of you who use um, karma, maybe watched by slug slain, this is a method for you. What nicer way is slug to go? For a shallow bowl of beer and place it strategically in an area of high slug activities like cabbages and uh, lettuce. Wait overnight. Slugs love a slurp of stale beer. Once in, they'll drown. Dispose of the slug be um can be a messy business a simple solution is to add it to your compost heap and that's um 
all about this uh, book and I think you should get it. It also says Sarah Ford and uh, Bounty Books and it's uh, really funny and uh, I advise you if you having problems with slugs um, spend a few hours do, doing these funny things. Okay thanks for watching and I'll see you again. Bye.